In today's video, we will be looking at Ted Decker's graphic novel, Chosen. So stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and animated Christians are for you who like original movies and series in the video card above, or reviews just like this one, as well as clean anime and manga reviews. So if you like the video, consider subscribing. What if you harvest a secret you could tell no one and had to collect books that ha held tremendous power? This is what happens in the Lost Book graphic novels and was created by Ted Decker and adapted by J.S. Earls and Kevin Kaser. It takes place between black and red when Thomas of Hunter, who has the ability to travel between worlds and takes place after black but before red. And if you're interested in my review of black, click the video card above. And is the 15 years between the two when Thomas Hunter ate the fruit that prevents him from dreaming of our world and takes place in the forest world. This tells the story of Genesis, Sylvia, Darcel, and Billos are all chosen to be recruits for Thomas of Hunter, but when a simple game of catch turns into something bigger, they have to keep a secret at the same time while collecting books that hold tremendous power. Will they be able to handle it? The art style is done by Kyle Rez. This time the art style does not suffer as bad as black and does a better job of distinguishing between the characters even if they aren't as memorable as they could be, it is a slight improvement. Jonas is sort of a leader of the group and he is scared inside of how to lead a group and does not think of himself as worthy to lead the group. While Billos is a fighter and he uses more bronze than brain most of the time to get the job done, Sylvia is the more intelligent of the group thinking and being more cautious in situations but does not do a good job of when to attack or overthinking a little. While Darso is a mystery of character and she is neither good nor bad but has respect for the group and has feelings for Billows, and plus one of my favorite characters, as well as the Roush being white bats like angels to help them along the way, and Shakai is a black bat that does anything to harm our heroes dead or alive. This is one thing I think they did an improvement on in this graphic novel, and pacing seems to be a lot better than black, and balance is a lot better, and the word bubbles are closer together to help us get a more intimate relationship with these characters. I think the sound effects were improved to help enhance the story even more effectively. There's no fan service that I'm aware of in this graphic novel. The only negatives I have is you might come off to some ugly characters with a skin disease that look very ugly and the killing of bats and some frightening images and deaths, but it's more tame than black. The chosen graphic novel does some minor improvements to its pacing, art style, and characters. Though it still suffers a little bit from Black's character design not being as memorable as it could be and the Rouse still taking over. But overall, it is a good graphic novel and a good continuation of the story. If you would like for me to review other books in the series, then put them in the comments below. And my name is Zeke Matthew, and never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.